Thank you so much for coming today, Mary. Thank you for having me. This is a great piece, and obviously it was an architectural element. Tell me how you came about this piece. Well, my husband, Skyler Smith, he owned Acme Wrecking Company, and he has retired now. He was in business for 50 years, so he's retired, and in one of his demolitions, and an, it was an estate here in Cincinnati, somewhere I do not know, I can't recall where it was. This was in the fireplace, and he brought it home, tried to protect it, and he brought it home, and we looked at it, we both fell in love with it, and we wanted to get it framed. So we had it framed, thinking all along that it was Rookwood. Ah. And of course, Rookwood is such a part of Cincinnati, we just, thought that we had some history here that we wanted to maintain. Well, definitely have some history, but it's not Rookwood. Uh. If we can, I'm going to turn it around, and you're going to look with me at the back of these tiles. Both of them have this impressed mark on them that says Kensington. Oh, does it? And Kensington was a very short-lived Victorian ceramic art tile company out of Newport, Kentucky. And Newport? Newport. Who knew? This was part, as you say, of a fireplace freeze or the surround around a fireplace. And I know your husband had to go through something to, you know, get it out of mm -hmm. its position. Yes. So it does have a little bit of damage here around mm -hmm. the center where these two tiles would have come together. Mm -hmm. It's a great stylized piece. And not only as an architectural remnant, it's important and, and it's attractive and desirable, but for people who are interested in Kentucky and Kentucky ceramics and Kentucky history, it's an important piece. Um, as I say, the Kensington Tile Company was only in business for a whopping, I think, 10 years. Mm -hmm. So when they went out, I don't know what happened. No one really knows what happens to the inventory. You rarely see pieces of Kensington Tile. Generally speaking, they're not pictorial, as this is. They're usually a pattern, and you'll only find one or two of them. So. We think this is pretty special, and it's one of those things that you can't go in and find comparables are because it is so rare. Um, rareness doesn't always translate to price, <laughs> but in this case, I would think that an institution or a collector would probably pay upwards of $600 for it. Really? Oh my goodness. So I never would have thought that. Pretty good for it something is. that was supposed to go in the dumpster. True. <laughs> Thank you. It's prettier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I do love it, though. Yeah. $600. Mm-hmm. Okay.